Hi friends, it's Nancy from nancyferbshares.com. Today I have a very easy fancy fold card for you. I call it a tab card and you've probably made it in my classes if you have attended very many. We're going to start out with the Snowy Scenes 12 by 12 designer series paper. We're going to make a pastel snowflake card. I'm going to flip these papers over and I'm going to use the plaid and the snowflakes and these colors um, are petal pink which is kind of a peachy pink. The stamp set is called Sparkling Snowflakes and I'm going to use this image right here and make the season sparkle. So I am starting out with a standard base which is five and a half by four and a quarter, and that, that has a fold right here. So this is just the standard card, okay? We're not going to use any extra card stock for this particular fancy fold, so it's economical. I'm going to put it into my paper cutter, and I'm going to cut off a one inch from the front just like that. And while I have this piece in here, I'm going to score it at an inch or three quarters of an inch. Um, it kind of depends on how you're going to tuck it. And then that folds. Okay, so we're done cutting. And now I can already show you the basis of this card is going to be like this. And you will open and open like that. See, I need to put a new blade in. I'm getting some fuzzy edges there. So let's go to the car, the um, designer paper now. And I'm going to place the plaid on the front. I love the Tombow glue. It really bonds to the paper and you just need a thin little line right around the edge. Designer series paper is not heavy. It bonds easily, doesn't take a lot of adhesive. So this is going to have a little frame around the edge. This piece is three inches wide. And I'm gonna make this the simple method for any beginners who might be watching. Then this, this piece is cut three quarters of an inch. And this is going to go along the side here and will show when the card is opened. I like the Tombow because it has a little slide effect. You can slide it around for a couple of seconds before it actually begins adhering. So this is where we are so far. Now, this little tab can be used in different ways. You can Decide where you want it. I like it about two-thirds of the way down, and since I have a pattern, I'm going to center it between these two lines. And you can tuck this under the designer series paper if you're a more advanced stamper, but if you're a beginner, don't worry about it. Just tuck it around behind. It's the same color as the base of the card, so you're not going to get much showing. So right between those two lines there and then around the back. Hold it for just a second till the glue sets up and then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to cut off the excess. You can make this a dovetail or an angle, lots of different things, but we're just keeping this one basic. Next, we're going to add the snowflake, which I've punched out with a two inch circle and I've mounted it onto two and three eighths inch circle. And I'm gonna line it up um, on my designer series paper. I'm gonna center it right there. So I want my dimensionals right about there. You always put the adhesive on the smaller piece because you don't want your adhesive hanging out. I like a little tripod effect or something to keep it from tipping. So I'm using four here. 
if you press down in the middle of the dimensional and then the end kind of curls up and the backing will come off easily. So that's going to go right there. Now we'll do the inside. Inside, I've done a little stamping. I'm Since this is a pastel card, I have used Pebble Path for the ink on the greeting instead of a dark black. It's just softer. So this is going to go on the inside and it's going to line up right here and here. Move it over just a little bit. See how you've got that nice slide effect? I love that. Because who's perfect the first time? So there's our card now. I need a little embellishment on that, a little sparkle. This is my uh, take a pick tool. So I'm going to pick up some of these self adhesive sequins. I love these because they're very flat for mailing. They don't rip your card when they go through the mail. If your embellishment's too sharp or too tall, it kind of rips the paper. So these are nice and flat and they're very sparkly. So we'll put those just in a row right there. I like to press them down good. And that is our finished card. Pretty pastel snowflake. And on the inside, make the season sparkle. Isn't that sweet? Now, I'm not quite done. I really like to have a little decoration on my envelope. So I like to decorate my flap with some coordinating designer series paper. Take your Tombow glue, put it on the flap, because this is the smallest piece. You always put your adhesive on the smaller piece. And I'm going to make a thin line all the way around the edge. And then since it's going through the mail, I'm going to give it a little extra. My adhesive is very thin there. You don't, don't need to get it too thick. I'm going to slide it down like this to pull the adhesive and not get adhesive beyond the fold. I'm just a skosh below the fold there. Then I'm going to flip it over and your envelope flap becomes your pattern and you just cut around so you're removing the excess of the designer series paper and you're good to go. This is so easy and it gives your, your card just a wonderful presentation. Isn't that sweet? Easy, simple. So there you go. And I have some more to show you so you can see other ideas. Okay, this one was Snowy Scenes. And my next one uses the 6x6 six six, um, designer series paper. And this is Summer Splash Color. And I use some glimmer paper there and this time I put the sequins on the on the tab so then you open it you have the same inside but I like the way you've got the same color in different patterns okay there's two Christmas cards for you then I needed an autumn birthday so this is what I did for autumn this color is pecan pie um, I used a really pretty flower from textured floral bundle and all these die cuts um, are in it and I used the forever plaid embossing folder and then this side of of the design is on the bias so just for a little added interest and then on the inside birthday blooms for you and a coordinating envelope. Isn't that cute? So I love this. You can just do so many interesting things with this particular tab card. Now this card I used a sentiment 
for the front instead of an image. So thinking of you, and this is the um, labeled with love punch, and it just fits inside that two and three quarter inch circle punch. I just like the way it fits, and the one inch tab looks like it comes right out of there. Embellishments at the top, and then on the inside, you've got a place to write. The flap is coordinated, and there you go. I hope you'll try this very easy tab fancy fold card. Come and visit me at nancyferbshares.com. I have tips, tricks, ideas, and I'd love to have you on my team. So check it out at my website. Thank you. Have an awesome day. Bye.